uh, this is an overview of all the features. So say if you want to create a data table, you will have that option. You can also create pivot tables. You can insert charts, create layouts. You can do repeating sections, something that you normally do when you want to run a report for multiple things that are repeated, or insert images like logos or so. Um, you can copy and paste objects. You can also place conditional formatting and filter. Like you see now, this is a screenshot, and I will jump in a moment to show you this live with an example. All right, let's, before continuing with the other feature, the new data modeler, let me jump into uh, an example of how you do this uh, the, and show you the new layout editor. Okay. Here I'm logging in as a BIE user. And as such, I can now have uh, the web catalog. You see all those uh, objects that I was talking about, the reports and uh, data models are uh, possible to search and find. Now, <clears throat> let me show you very quickly about uh, reports and about data models. First of all, notice that there is a difference. This icon, the data model, and this icon, the report, which is different. That's one thing to notice. Now, they can be in one folder, and you, you, the only way to notice the difference of, between those two is by the icon and the extension of the report name. So a report will have the extension of XDO. A data model object will have XDM and I uh, will have a database associated to the icon. So there is no specific folder for a data model. It, they, all those objects can be combined in one folder. So sometimes it, it may be confusing if you do not keep, um, uh, if you do not keep um, the separation between them. Like I did here with um, my folders that is my reports and my data models. <clears throat> so one of the best practices uh, would be keep under one folder all your data models and all your reports in a different folder. So in that way you know where to look immediately for a particular data model when you create a new report. All right, let's start with an example. Uh, I will create a new report based on move this a little bit further to the right and I'm going to create a new report. Okay, as you can see it immediately prompts me for a data model. Mm, a data model. Alright, so if you do not have your data model then you will have to, to create that first before jumping and create the report. Okay, I already have a data model created and I can show you that in a moment. Let's assume that the, we already have a data model created and continue with the creation of the report. Click OK. The next thing I have to do once I have defined where my data source is coming from is how I'm going to lay out that information on a page. And I have, uh, you know, a basic template uh, to create uh, the report. Well, I'll, I'll create just one from the start, uh, and this is a blank template. Now, you see on the left-hand side, I have um, data sources, and that is all of them available to me to drag and drop on my page. And in this way, I can start creating the report. Um, this is this is the way and this is the template online builder. Now let me go back and one step and let me show you how you uh, create a data model. Let's go to the new and say data model. So 
So first you need to start by creating the data model. You say a data set. You go to data set as your starting point and then you say I want to create a data set based on a SQL query or an, a BI analysis that is in former uh, releases known as a BI answer. Now let's do that and take a, a, an already existing uh, answers report that we will uh, use for our BI publisher report. So let's call it example our BI analysis. It will browse through the catalog. Let's click and share. And let's take overview. Share publish the portal. Overview. Analysis. So let me take this uh, answer report like uh, sales by brand. All right, I click OK. And it's including now the BI answers uh, query previously defined by somebody else. And I'm just uh, using it right now to create my BI publisher report. <clears throat> the next step is I either rename the columns by looking at the structure. And this is uh, one nice feature. Uh, if you recall, uh, when you worked with BI Publisher, you had the issue that when you use BI Answers queries as a data source, your BI Publisher tags and uh, names had a very long, long name based on the metadata created for, for it in BIEE. Well, now we can rename it. As a display name, we can use it something different. We can rename it as an XML tag name as well. And we can rename it as a, its data source. So let's start with the display name. I know this is a year, so I will rename it year. I know this is brand, I will rename it brand. I know this is quantity, so let's rename it quantity. And this is revenue. All right, and I, what I can do is um, save this definition. And because I am defining for the first time my data source, uh, I have to give it a name, like um, let's say sales by brand. Sales by brand. Okay. If you want to take a look at the how the output would look like, you just simply click here, and this is the output that would look like the scripted XML output, and the the actual output is here. Now the code that it it, it generates behind the scenes is something that you were familiar with if you were familiar with a um, data template. It's something like this. Now let's go back to diagram and let's add to this another um, data source and I'm going to use share publisher reporting analysis and then quarterly revenue. That's the other. Click OK. And what does it bring? It brings simply information about, um, you know, um, let me go back here. Maybe data set. About uh, the quarterly revenue of the company in, in, in an XML structure. Now, having done this, uh, the next step is once we have defined this, um, we have now uh, the possibility to go and create a report, which is something that I did and, um, at the first uh, step. And um, we can continue with the development of the template using the template uh, layout builder. And that's what I will do next.
So to save some time, I already have something created. You've seen how I create the data model. The um, objects did not have any relation at all. Okay, so what um, I just did, I just grabbed some previous VA answer queries, I defined my, my data set, and then I jumped into the report definition based on that, and I am at the step of um, laying out the objects on a page, and that's what I will do next. Okay. So don't worry because there are already objects in there. I will show you how to create them in a moment. Uh, but as you can see, there are already objects like graphs and tables. So what I'll do next is that um, I'm going to include in this report some additional objects as, uh, you know, for example, a graph bar and then another pie bar um, in my report. One thing very important at this moment is something that I will show you is the layout grid. If you start developing a template builder um, based on this tool, you, you will have to use the layout grid and the text item. These two things are really important. The text item object will allow us to enter text but first the layout grid will allow us to place the objects around the page. It will allow us to separate sections of the page. Otherwise we will not be able to place an, an object in a, a specific position. So, so the layout grid is really very important in this case. So what I'll do now is I'm going to add first, let me see, okay, I am selecting a row. As you can see, dynamically, the the um, the options changes, and as you can see, that I can add a row above the one that I just selected. So that's what I'm going to do. I just created a row, and I want to add an additional row on top of this, and just click on Insert. Okay, this will be for the title, and this will be for the charts. So what I'll do here is. I'm going to write a title for the chart, but in order for me to write something, I need to insert the text item. I drag and drop text item. Same thing here on the other section. Okay. Now I double click, and what I will write here will be the title of my chart, which is quarterly sales revenue. And here the title will be um, percent revenue uh, by quarter. 